Welcome aboard, folks. I'm Admiral Bisk, and today we're playing some Spinnacus. I am Spinnacus. Anyway, I found this on Game Jolt, and, uh, I don't know. Seem it looked kind of cool, so I figured let me, uh, give it a, let me give it a little play, give it a little try. So, uh, let's do this. Play. Oh, oh, that's where I was. Okay, WASD to move. All right. Press and hold left mouse over an enemy to grab it. Why? I have a grapple hook. I like that. Okay. Cool. And he spins around me. Release the mouse to launch the enemy. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Destroy your enemies by making them clash together with each other. Oh. Okay, this is going to be a little wonky. Can I just smash? I can. I can just smash dudes. Like that. Now, is this going to be like just, oh, it's, oh, it's straight up like, I am in the gladiatorial zone place, and I need to see how long I can last. Oh, good. At least I have the badass fucking grappling hook thing. This is my weapon of choice. You know what? From now on, this is what I will walk around and uh, fight off my attackers with. Oh my god, there's so many. I can only kill one at a time. Well, two at a time, I guess, technically. I think. Wait. Shit, no! Get out of here, skeletons! I think if I throw a guy into a bunch of dudes, it'll... Oh, no, I can kill multiple dudes with one guy. I think, it seems. Alright. Is this like a... I, I wonder if this is waves, or if it's just straight up, like, go until you die. Also, I don't see a health meter, but I'm pretty sure they've hit me. So, like, how do I know if I'm... It's a very, it's a very, here's the thing with this game. All right, it's pretty cool. I'm liking it so far. It seems kind of fun, but it doesn't seem very uh, exciting for you guys is what I'm wondering. Granted, I don't know. It could be fun. Who knows? Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, where the fuck am I? Did I die? Apparently I died. Uh, that it? That, that's the game? Does it? I only made it to 93. I don't like that. Let's see if I can do see if I can do better. I can do I wanna get at least a hundred. This guy looks like a these little skeleton dudes remind me of like a South Park uh, uh, character. I guess it's probably just the shape of their eyes, but like they have the they have like that kind of overly egg shaped eye that reminds me of South Park. And I'm already off to a bad start. Whoa there, friend with your sword. Let's not throw a sword. How about that? Get out of here! Hiya! I do think it's a cool idea that I have just this grapply chain, though. I had, like, this cool idea for, like, so, uh, sort of similar, and I'm sure it's been done before, but, uh, I, I was, in my spare time, I like to, you know, I used to draw this, like, comic, and it would, all the characters would be, like, me and my friends, but I'd give us, like, superpowers and stuff. It was probably, like, uh, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, and I think maybe, like, freshman year I did a few, but... Um, I never really did anything with it. It was just like a little fun thing that I'd be like, Hey guys, look, I, I made a new drawing. You check it out. And it'd just be stick figures or whatever, but I'd try and put some kind of joke in them. Um, one idea I had was, uh, I, I also like to give somebody, people like a certain like weapon that was like individual to them. I didn't like, uh, if somebody had the same kind of weapon as other people. One of my friends, I gave him, uh... I basically gave him Zero's um, sword from Mega Man, like his old sword arm hand thing going thing, and um, I gave him also like a backpack that was full of battle chips from like the anti warrior stuff, and basically he would reach into his backpack and pull out like a random battle chip and he'd insert it into like this slot on his, uh, on his arm, and his hand would uh, change depending on the chip and he'd basically, you know, be able to use different powers based on the chips that he had. And it was he'd always grab, like, a random chip. So it was kind of cool. Um, ah, shit. Um, one time, though, I was, I was coming up with, like, different, like, forms for myself. Basically, um, you know, like, in animes, they always have, like, oh, the, this form, and you go, oh, now I'm in this one. Or, like, you have, like, freaking Luffy. The second gear. Anyway, 
I had like something kind of like going like that, and it was based on like what color jacket I was wearing. I don't know, I thought that was cool, so that's what I went with. And, um, I tried messing around with the idea of like, if there were multiple versions of myself, I never really got it down to like, how, why or how that was a thing. Um, and they'd all have their own different weapons or something. And I started messing around with like, fusions between them. Um, and one of the ideas I came up with was like, he'd run around and he'd have like, a, a giant ass anchor that he just had on his back and that would be his, kind of like imagine like Nautilus from League of Legends. Um, granted, but it would just be like some, you know, anime-esque character. You know, the whole small guy with a big weapon bullshit that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that. And, uh, I'm mostly focused on survival, not killing, and that's a problem. I need to up up my game. But, um, in addition to the giant anchor, I'd had, like, this little, like, gauntlet thing that, um, had like a small anchor on it and that one could launch with a chain attached to it and I'd use it as like a grappling hook and stuff or like I'd extend it out a little bit and then have like basically have this going on but instead of having a guy attach shit I need to start attacking and not just running around I just weren't realized I had like a little metal loincloth <laughs> but um I'd basically just whip it around the, and be smacking people with a tiny anchor and like jumping around the city in that using it as a grappling hook. Or I'd have a giant anchor and I'd smack people with that. Um, I don't know, it was just something I thought of for some strange reason. And this, this is just reminding me of it. It's like I've been thrown into the gladiatorial pits. I must fight with nothing but my chain and anchory thing. Come on, who wants some? Are these just the... Are these the dead versions of me that have failed in the gladiatorial exhibit against other skeletons? Also, sometimes they're able to hit me and sometimes they're not. It's very strange. I should probably be throwing them at each other, but I can't time it properly. Like, I'm very bad with the timing on this. Come on! Oh! The, uh... I don't have the mouse displayed. I should've... Well, I didn't know. Most of the time when I get a game off a of Game Jolt, I don't know how the game is played. I don't know much about it. I'll maybe see, like, a screenshot and the name, and that'll be about it. Occasionally I look into... I read the description a little bit, but I like to just grab a game and just kind of be surprised by it. I find that it gives me a nice little uh, reaction to things that's a little more genuine. I mean, like, Bioshock, when I played that, I had already played through the game twice. So, like, nothing really surprised. I mean, if something jumps out at you, you're gonna get surprised. I don't care who you are. But, like, I mean, like, story-wise and level-wise, nothing really surprised me. Oh, God! Surprised me a whole lot. So I like to just not look at these at all. I like to go into them blind. Damn it. Oh, I beat 100, though! Yes! Um, but like I was saying, I'm gonna, uh, I'll do one more. Basically, I go into them not knowing what I'm doing, and that's kind of a problem in some extent. Like, this one, I feel like it would probably be a, kind of better if you guys could see my mouse. Um, because then you'd, like, know where I'm gonna throw the chain. Basically, you click on a guy, and that's where your chain gets launched. Oh, and it only works if there's... Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that. You can only throw the chain if you're, like, pointed at a guy. Oh, I don't even... I've been holding it the whole time. You just have to click them. So basically, you just click them. You have to hold it to, like, not launch them. But, see, like, right now I'm just clicking a the guy. They just get thrown. Here, I'm holding him. So I'm able to whip him around a bit. Fuck you. Okay. Um, so that's interesting. But yeah, you, you you don't really know who I'm going after based on what's going on because you can't see my mouse. And then if I had read the thing, I would have known, oh, that's how it's that's how it's done. Okay. And you can see the mouse and know what's up. But uh, basically, yeah, you just click a guy, hold it, you whip him around a bit, and then you let go of throwing. 
Or you can just do like I mostly ever do and just walk around and wait until you hopefully bash somebody with it. Ooh! But I am Spinnacus! Fuck all of you other skeletons! Oh, whoa, 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 what was that noise? What was that noise? I didn't like that noise. I didn't much care for that! What? That guy just flew! Well, that's that. Alright, guys. That was Spinnacus. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description if anybody wants to play this for themselves. It's a fun little, like, time-wasted game that... What the fuck is my chain doing? What? 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 It's just... It's trying to escape. Get him, boys! Get him! The skeleton's just following it. This is hilarious. Um, it's a fun little time waster game. I liked it. It was a fun little experience. Um, I wonder if there's like a... I wonder if maybe there'll be like an iPhone version of this or something. I'd probably play that. Probably kill some time with that. Uh, oh, there's my dead body. Yay. So, uh, like I said, link in the description if you want to try it for yourself. Um, if you like this, leave it a like. If it made you smile, uh, maybe a little comment. Thanks for watching, and as for the huge, everybody remember to stay golden. Bye-bye.